Okay, how to do this effect? How to insert a 3D asset from Spline to Webflow? So first of all, let's create a new site, name it uh, Spline. Okay, now we need to create a div blog. So let's name this uh, global and then insert another div block in it and let's name it info folder now let's add a heading okay let's give it a hundred percent and 100 v h let's give it a size of 10 because we want this to be big okay now let's duplicate so that we have three sections let's add another div block in which we will insert our 3d asset from spline name it uh, spline and add an embed now on spline uh, there are a lot of uh, 3d assets i choose this one i modified a little bit because i wanted uh, the shadow to be cast behind the object before exporting you will select your light that you want uh, to follow the course and you will click on plus change that from start to follow the light will follow the mouse and this will also happen on your website before exporting it uh, said to have pan zoom orbit set them to have none Okay, then you copy the embed code and you insert it into your project. Now, because Spline takes the whole size of the embed on the workflow, you have to also set this HTML embed on the size you want. In our case, is 100% on 100pH. And here it is. And we want this to be on fixed. So let's give it a five Z index and also let's make global relative and give it a Z index of 10. And let's click publish. And let's see how it looks. If you see the light doesn't follow us we need to add another embed code in the global will disable the point pointer event so you will target global div block and you we will have pointer events to set or not we will save and let's publish to see the results now our light that we set it in spline follows us and that's it <laughs> it's that simple